What's up guys? Mo and Meg here again, and this week we're going to take some BuzzFeed questions to see how accurate they are and answer some burning questions we've had about our lives. We picked out some BuzzFeed quizzes on things that really interest us, things that we have questions about and would like to know, so let's get started. So first quiz we're going to take is what iconic duo are you and your BFF? And what we're going to do guys, we're both going to take the same quiz and give our, like obviously our each like personal answers and like compare the differences. Okay. We're taking this really seriously. Yeah, like I need to know. Is your bestie older or younger than you? So Mo's older than me. Where would you find yourselves on a Friday night? Partying, at home watching Netflix, somewhere up to no good, shopping, at our fave hangout or at the movies? Our fave hangout is at home watching. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. What would you say like go shopping? We go shopping. We go shopping a lot. What What would you say? I would say probably shopping. Shopping it sounds more fun than just being at home. I'm gonna say at home. <laughs> Did you and your bestie grow up together? Yes. yes. What is one word you use to describe your best friend? So it's loyal, kind, funny, smart, friendly, or determined. So Mo, how would you, out of these, how would you describe me? I would say funny. Yeah. I would, this is hard, because it's like all of them. I'm gonna go with friendly. Oh, thanks. Because Mo's like really friendly with people. If your BFF was a member of the Breakfast Club, which one would they be? The nerd, the jock, the princess, the basket case, or the criminal, or none? You'd be the jock. <laughs> <laughs> you think I would be him? <laughs> Who do you think you'd be? The criminal? Mo. I'm... No, I'll put the nerd for you. The nerd, okay. I say the prince. Thanks. You're not the basket case. That's true. You can be the principal. <laughs> Just kidding. Mo's the princess. Okay. Pick a movie that best captures your friendship. Dumb and Dumber, Legally Blonde, Risky Business, Grease, Bridesmaids, or Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Bridesmaids? Yes. Bridesmaids. Wait, no. Ugh. We can pick the same one. I really like Sisterhood of the Traveling <laughs> Pants. But is it like our friendship? No. No, it's not. There's only two of us. Bridesmaids. Bridesmaids. Which singer or band do you both jam out to the most? Beyonce, Madonna, Fleetwood Mac, <laughs> Queen, Adele, or Amy Winehouse? Probably out of all those, Beyonce. Probably. I mean, I don't really. I mean, that's not you. We don't even. Don't really listen to like, we're not Beyonce. like big Beyonce fans, but if anything. I mean, out of all of those, that would she would have to be the like, one. Throwback Beyonce. Throwback Beyonce. Irreplaceable. Oh, dude, that's a jam. Your bestie gets heartbroken by someone. What do you do? Tell them they're better off. Take them out for drinks. Stay home with them and eat 50 pizzas. Kill the SOB that left her brokenhearted. Set her up with someone you know. Offer some heartfelt advice. I would say I would offer some heartfelt advice. Yeah. I would say the same. Oh my god, I got Thelma and Louise! <laughs> My mom loves that movie. I've never actually seen Thelma and Louise. So, Thelma and Louise, while you and your bestie may be criminally insane, your friendship cannot be broken. You would rather die together than live without one another. You two are the epitome of best friends forever. Oh, you got Steve and Dustin! Yeah, so you got Steve Harrington and Dustin Henderson from Stranger Things. Your friendship is an unlikely one, but it totally works. While the Steve in your friendship is older than you are, the Dustin in your duo has no trouble keeping up. The way you became friends is unconventional to say the least, but it worked out in the end. We became friends in kindergarten. Playing blocks. That's not unconventional. Which fantasy land do you live in? So first question is, what is your biggest fear? Not living my life, being forgotten, being called weird, <laughs> it's my life, and never finding love. Not living my life for mine. What would you say for yours? I'd probably say not living my life yeah. as well. What is your biggest flaw? I'm too trusting. I'm too loud. I don't always act like myself. I'm overdramatic. I'm overdramatic. <laughs> Thanks! I think mine's I'm too trusting. Mm -hmm. Like, too. Like, it's such a flaw of mine. Yeah. Trusting to a fault. 
Yes. What is your favorite color? Green. Yellow. Yeah. I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, yours is green, mine's blue. I'm sorry, yeah. Pick a hobby. Reading, hanging out with my friends, watching movies slash TV shows, or going shopping. Hanging out with my friends. Yeah. Me too. Because I can do those other things while hanging out with my yeah, friends. Yeah, we can go shopping and watch movies and TV. Or read. Oh, finally. Oh, wow, this was a really short one. Yeah, we're not going to read <laughs> together. That would be so boring. Finally, which word would your friends use to describe you? Wait, what were the options? The op oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. The options are crazy, caring, weird, and protective. I would describe Mo as caring. Ooh, I got the Wizard of Oz! Sorry, that's my mom's favorite movie. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Crazy? See, I, my, I'm in between caring and protective. Yeah, I was in between those two for you, too. Yeah. See, you chose caring, I'm gonna say protective. Yeah, that's- So we not, like, are constantly- Arendelle! <laughs> <laughs> From Frozen! Yeah! Dude, Oz would be so cool. It'd be kind of scary, though. I don't- I don't I think- you're there. I don't think I'd be down with Oz. See, if I was in Oz, I'd be fine. Everywhere else in the movie's scary. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Those colored horses kind of freaked me out. In oh, the show. I love the horse- the That was, like, my favorite- colors. That was, like, my favorite scene when I was little, but it's- The so horse of a different color, that's what it's called. Yeah, it just kind of freaked me out. Yeah, but I liked it. I grew up watching that movie, so that movie is like my childhood. Wait, did you get The Wizard of Oz or did I? I got The Wizard of Oz, you got Arendelle. I got Arendelle from Frozen, so. How is that a fantasy land? It's just like a kingdom, it's not really like a. I mean, does it's... it exist? Oh, well, no, I take a Well, it exists in Disney. That's a thing. All right, which 2000 show should you have starred in? I I'm, actually really am so really excited. excited for this one. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. What was your favorite after school snack? Gushers, Danimal Smoothie, Dunkaroos, Lunchables, Uncrustables, <laughs> or, or animal, like the frosted animal cookies. Mine's frosted animal cookies. That's yours? Okay, this will be yours. I would beg my mom. She'd be like, well, why don't we get the uncrusted? It's healthier. I'd be like, heck no, woman. <laughs> I don't know. I loved Uncrustables. Like, we used to freeze them. I used to eat them frozen, but that wasn't a snack. Like, that was my lunch. Yeah. Like, that's a sandwich. <laughs> um, I would, I'm probably gonna have to say Gushers. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> what did you have on you at all times? A Tamagotchi, Silly Bands, the Water Snakes, or 12 color pen? The Water Snake are those like tubes, those like squishy tubes. And it has like stuff in it, like sparkles the stuff and in, stuff. And it has the hole in the middle. I loved that thing. I did too. I had Silly Bands. I had a too. lot of Silly Bands though. I did. And I had like the next generation Tamagotchi. I never had a Tamagotchi. Oh, I had one. I sucked at it. I'm I was not good at keeping up with it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say the, the water sneak. I literally used to carry one around. I would say Silly Bands. Silly Bands. Yeah, that was more. I remember like those water snakes when you go to like Chuck E. Cheese or Laser Dome. I would always pick that with my tickets. And you get like all your tickets and you, I would always get that. <laughs> this is like bringing okay. me back. What was your favorite present? Bratz doll, Dance Dance Revolution, Skip It. Oh my gosh, those big art sets with the paint, the markers, the crayons, like every, it was the massive art set that like opened. Um, Easy Bake Oven or GameCube? See, I had, oh wait, I, never, I didn't have Dance Dance Revolution. I didn't have a Bratz doll. <laughs> oh, I did, I had three. I had the Mario version of Dance Dance Revolution. Dude, like, that actually should be really fun. It was really cool. See, out of all those, the ones that I used the most was my Skip It. Skip It and my GameCube. I still have my GameCube. You do still have your GameCube. I'm gonna have to say GameCube if you wanna say Skip It. I'm gonna it. say Skip It. I, I use that all the time. I had that Skip It, the pink one. Oh, I had a purple one. Yeah, you did. I don't know why my parents got me pink. That's okay. <laughs> what was your favorite store? Hot Topic, Limited 2. Oh gosh, Build-A-Bear, Claire's, or Toys R Us. That's hard because That's it's hard. like- it's like two clothing stores. I was a Build-A-Bear stan. Yeah, she had a lot of Build-A-Bears. I had like 14. I think I had like six. See, for me, out of all of these, I'm gonna have to say limited, limited two. two. Yeah. I think, yeah. I'm gonna have to say limited two, too, because like that's where I like got clothes from. Yeah, like my, my grandma would take me shopping there all the time. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. 
favorite, favorite artists, NSYNC, Avril Lavigne, Green Day, Britney Spears, Destiny's Child, or No Doubt? Who's No Doubt? Gwen Stefani. Oh! Oh, I didn't even know. Okay, so what? what's yours? Oh my god. This is so... Like, That's so hard, because I'm... The ones that I listened to most when I was a kid, I'm in between NSYNC, NSYNC and, and Britney Spears. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say NSYNC. I don't know. I'm gonna say NSYNC. I'm half... Like... Cause pop is just like blaring in my head right now. I was listening to that on my way here. It's like one of my favorite songs. Yeah. <laughs> Flashback Friday. I'm gonna say Britney because it's a picture of the Oops I Did It Again album and Lucky is on that album. Oh. Lucky is so good. <laughs> Lucky is so good. Britney. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Favorite candy. Right, no Ouch bubblegum. Baby bottle pops. Do you remember the, the commercial? Baby, baby bottle pops. Baby, baby bottle pops. <laughs> you can lick it. Something and something. <laughs> Trident layers, pop rocks, or sky bar. I, I don't, don't even know, know what a sky bar I is. I don't know either. Mine's mine's baby bottle pops. You like baby bottle pops? I have them all the time. That and ring pops. Oh, ring. Do you remember push up pops? Like push pops? Yeah, I had those all. Like, I was really into that type of candy when I was little. Me too. Like, I yeah. didn't really like chocolate and stuff. Like, I like chocolate a lot yeah. now. But when I was younger, I wanted all, like, the lollipop type stuff. I'm gonna say, um, pop rocks. Because I just used to, like, get a kick out of them. Yeah, I thought they, they were, were fun. I thought they were so cool. Yeah. Which is your. F I already. I was like, this is not hard. Yeah, for this me. is not hard for Megan. <laughs> Which is your favorite cartoon? Hey Arnold, My Life as a Teenage Robot, Avatar The Last Airbender, Kim Possible, or Powderpuff Girls? Yours is Hey Arnold. Yeah. Like, hands down. Not even a competition. <laughs> See, I was, like, little when I was watching the Powerpuff Girls. Oh, you loved the Powerpuff Girls. I did like the Powerpuff Girls. Kim, you, you liked Kim, too. I really liked Kim Possible. I'm gonna say Kim Possible, because, like, I really wanted to, like, fight on. Yeah. What were your go-to shoes? So there's a picture of, like, those platform sandals. I had platforms. <laughs> yeah, I did have that big, but I had, like, platform flip-flops. Like, the old-school puffy, like, DC shoes, like yeah. skater vans, yeah. mm -hmm. jelly sandals, but that's Moe's, so Moe's gonna go with jelly sandals. Yeah, I'm gonna sandals. go with, I, I don't even have to look at the other ones. What are these, clogs? <laughs> I had those, I had clogs. <laughs> I had clogs. I used to wear Birkenstocks when I was little. Oh, the Birks. I, yeah, I used to wear Birkenstocks when they were like super lame, now they're cool. Now they're cool and like all hippie. So. I know, and I'm just like, that was me. <laughs> Um, Crocs or Heelys? I had Crocs. I'm gonna, you should put Crocs because that makes the most sense for you. I literally asked my parents to take me and buy me Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> they were green. And I was like, Mom, I, I, I need, need Crocs. Crocs. <laughs> Favorite electronic? A Motorola Razor. I had that phone. My brother had it, I didn't. I had that phone. A Walkman, like a CD player. Um, a boombox, Game Boy SP, like the flip up one, or this is, is this an iPod? That's the iPod Classic. That's like the first, yeah. That was the, like the, the first, first iPod, iPod that they ever came out with. Okay, so Mo, what would you say for yours? The CD player. I lived for my CD player. Yeah. Like that was my life. It Remember was my on, CD like, field trips? Yeah. We'd take our CD players. We would take our, we were allowed to bring and, our CD players. And like our like case. <laughs> like our CD okay, case of so CDs, oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna go with my Game Boy SP. I used to play Super Mario Brothers on it. I was nice. obsessed with it. And that's the Lizzie McGuire game I had. Yeah, you did have that one. What's your favorite color? Mine's green. Oh my god. Moe's is blue. <gasps> oh my god, I got Even Stevens! That was my favorite show. Oh my god! How did you get Even Stevens? Because I'm hilarious and goofy and weird. I got Drake and Josh. Which is also a great option. That's such a good show. That Both of them are so funny. Oh my god. Last quiz we're doing, guys, is we're going to find out which Disney princess should be our BFF based on what we buy at Sephora. Ooh. Okay. Ben. So, pick a brow product. We have pomade, a felt tip pencil, brow powder, brow mascara. It's a thing. Okay. Um, brow cream and highlight or a brow marker? I would say cream gel. You're gonna say cream gel? Yeah. I'm gonna say brow powder. Pick an eyeshadow palette. So we have. Okay, okay, okay. So we have wild colors, softer tones with standout colors, darker tones, nude tones, a mix of nudes and colors, or dark, sultry. 
<laughs> what would you pick? Gun. Yeah, I would. I'm pretty boring. <laughs> My God. Yeah, I'm gonna say the same thing. Pick an eyeliner color: black, teal, brown, purple, yellow, or blue. Blue. Who wears? Who would wear yellow eyeliner? Yeah, that is kind of weird. Um, I don't wear eyeliner. I'll go with black. Pick a mascara: volumizing, thickening, lengthening. Waterproof, moisturizing, or thickening and lengthening. Thickening and lengthening. Yeah, me too. Thickening and lengthening. <laughs> We're gonna have the same Disney BFF. Yeah. Pick a concealer: Smashbox, Bobbi Brown, Hourglass, Tarte, Clinique, or Urban Decay. Mm -hmm. I don't wear a concealer. I would say Urban Decay. I'll go with Tarte because that one looks fun. Fun. Pick a primer: Becca. I don't know that brand. Too Faced, <laughs> Smashbox, Benefit, or Hourglass. Benefit. Yeah, I'm going with Benefit too. Pick a foundation. Makeup Forever, Kat Von D, NARS, Lancome, Marc Jacobs, or Fenty Beauty. The only one I use out of this, Fenty. Yeah, I've never used any of them, but I think Fenty looks nice. Pick a highlight. Ooh. Stila, Too Faced, Bobbi Brown, Urban Decay, Hourglass, or Becca. I'm going to say Becca. Hourglass. Pick a lipstick. Dual colored pink sheen glass. Burgundy nude hot pink pencil or fire red. Pink sheen? Because I don't wear anything on my lips. So. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say the same thing. Pick a perfume. Ooh. So we have Kenzo Amore Kenzo, um, Daisy by Marc Jacobs, Jador by Dior. Um, Chanel, like the Chance Chanel perfume, Miu Miu or Tresor Lancome. <laughs> <laughs> what would you pick? Out of all those, I'd probably pick the Chanel one. The Chanel one. I'm gonna pick, um... Ew! I'm gonna pick J'adore by Dior, because I like that smell. Ew! We both got Snow White! I'm sorry she's not invited to the party. Uh, Snow White? That's not fun, I really wanted Ariel. <sighs> Yeah, I really wanted, I don't know, someone cool. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever, BuzzFeed. Inaccurate. Yeah. Okay, guys, so that's it for today. We found out a little bit more about ourselves, you yeah. know, tested the accuracy of BuzzFeed. I think it wasn't as accurate as I would have liked. Yeah. But, you know, that's okay. I, it's okay. I guess I'm just gonna have to find out for myself which Disney princess I should be friends with based yeah. on what I buy at Sephora. Yeah. I need to go to Disney World and figure it out. Yeah, I just can't rely on BuzzFeed for that. But other than that, it's fine. It's fine. We're half fine. We're half fine. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And link down below will be my vlog channel. I'm going to get back into it. I finished school. I'm done with the semester. I will definitely be posting more vlogs and other videos, fun things, yay. Yay. So that's all we have for this week, guys. And on that note, we will see you next Friday. Come on now.